How you feeling, babe? We ain't celebrate Thanksgiving. We do not celebrate paying yeah, holidays. How, 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 how was it for you? I feel good. Mm. Mm. I do. I feel good. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I don't like, I like to, you know, because this is a platform and I try to be careful of the things I say mm -hmm. because I still have friends and family that do celebrate. So I don't want anybody to feel like I'm casting any judgment or anything like that. My truths are just my truths. Mm. Uh, when I know better, I do better. Right, and that's right. just for me. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? So I feel good with what I did and my decisions that I made. Um, yeah, I treated it like a weekend day. I ran some errands. Me and my daughters went out to get some food. We had a good day. We just treated it like the weekend. We did some girl time. Um, I, I was supposed to, originally, it's funny though. Originally, I was actually kind of torn around that time because um, I had cousins that before we decided to not celebrate paying holidays anymore, I had, my cousins were coming into town and um, I was still like, you know, I'm a cook, but I'm just not going to like consider it like Thanksgiving, if that makes sense, which is kind of, it's funny though, because this is why I felt like it was I was torn because I feel like a lot of people, especially black people, I don't even think they're looking at the reasoning. Mm. Um, you know, they're just this fellowship, it's family time, and that's what's been tradition. Like it's not really, you know, I'm doing this in support of. Uh, but the other side of it is people are doing it and not knowing what it's supporting of. You get what I'm trying to say, or not knowing the full details. So whenever you do something on those days and you could keep a certain tradition is still keeping that spirit alive. And mm -hmm. uh, I was a little torn because I was like, dang, my cousin's coming in town. You know, they still separate. So I'm a cook. You know what I'm saying? We're just not going to call it Thanksgiving. We're going to pray over our own food and we're going to let people, whatever things they believe in, they believe in. Um, but my cousin ended up not coming. And I, I remember I was telling my church sister, I was like, I feel so good. I said, because I don't have to actually do it and I don't have to feel torn. So I felt good because I mm -hmm. didn't have to cook. I didn't feel torn. I did cook that weekend for my household, like you know what I'm trying to say. So we could we just wanted to eat. Y'all kept posting sweet potatoes, yams, and that. And I get down, I don't plays in the kitchen. So I wanted to just cook for the family, but I didn't do it on Thanksgiving. I did it on the weekend. And um, yeah, we treated it. It was regular. It was cool. It's crazy because the thing with the holidays, yeah. right? It's like, you know, even when I first found out about the pagan holidays, yeah. A part of me wanna finesse, right? Of course. But it's 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 crazy how we always try to like finesse God's word, right? Like we say we love God, but when we see things that's like written in stone, then we try to finesse it because it was comfortable and that's really the devil, right? And it's crazy because even with holidays, like, man, you know, I hear, like, I said it, like, I don't know what I'm saying, I don't even want to talk about nobody else. I said it, like, man, you know, we can still eat. Yeah. I'm not celebrating Thanksgiving, I'm just eating. I'm just yeah. fellowship with my family because, yeah. but guess what? That's like, I don't know, if something happened to, that's like slavery. Mm -hmm. Right, that's like I don't know a slave owner. I'm just this is a crazy analogy. I know how I am with analogy. I can hit them. Is that's like a slave owner, um, giving us I don't know uh, wristbands to all his slaves, mm -hmm. right? And he just give it to everybody, but somebody else who's not a slave wearing a wristband and be like, I just like it. It just look good. The slaves gonna be offended. They gonna like. What like bro? Huh? It that just wasn't looks good. That wasn't all, a bad the, all the all the wristbands in the world, you choose to wear this color wristband yeah. that represents that wasn't slavery. A bad, that wasn't you get what I'm saying? Analogy. So it's, it's kind yeah. it's kind of like the same. It's like we all we 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 be like, bro, out of all the days in the all, all the days in the year, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not celebrating Thanksgiving. I'm just going to eat and fellowship with the family. You pick the yeah, same, same exact day. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah. why not just do it on um, uh, a random Tuesday, December the fifth, or yeah. Yep. January the 4th. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But like on a, out of all the days, yep. you choose this day. Yep. So and clearly you participate in it. And that's why I didn't feel guilty. And that's why I, like not feel guilty. That's why I felt good about my decision because it was mine. And I think it also, I'm not going to lie, I felt good about it because I felt like I was not conforming to the norms of the world. Mm. And I feel like that made me feel a little like I stood for something. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? I feel like a lot of of us and there's other things I still do it too so I don't want to exempt myself from yeah, anything sure. a lot of us we conform to a lot of traditions norms of the world, of the world that actually are not okay and, and it could be with a plethora of things it's not even just tradition it could be worldly things mm -hmm. like you know riches and the things we feel like we need and the things we got to keep up with like it's just a lot of things so I feel like I stood for something and you know and you fall for you stand for something, you fall for anything. So I felt good about that. So, yeah, you know, and I still, <laughs> the only thing was funny to me, I kept making a joke with my friends. 
you know, because some of my friends, some my closest friends knew that I wasn't celebrating Thanksgiving mm -hmm. or we don't celebrate pagan holidays in our house. So a couple of my, my closest friends know some of my other like, you know, estranged, like estranged friends or associ close associates. They don't know. So they're sending me texts like everything's like, I'm just like, God bless you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Cause what I say, and I was like, I don't, I don't want to say like happy Thanksgiving because I don't partake. But in I don't want to say, you know, it's like, mm. so I'm just like, God bless you, and you know, wherever that, you know, God bless you. <laughs> like, so, I was gonna ask what yeah. you say because people were saying me like, happy I'm like, oh, God bless you. I just don't say nothing. <laughs> what do you? Oh, see, that's rude. Like that's why I said. I no, said no, no. I say I, so somebody like, like people I know, they said I probably like, I appreciate them. Uh, oh, thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, you feel me? Yeah, that's like, not appreciate wrong you, man. That. Yeah, appreciate. What's up you. with you? Like how you feel? Yeah. Like, and then, it, but it, this is to, like, you know, but, sway. but what it, what also dawned on me though, it was like a lot though because everything I seen all day on social media was just I was like, oh my gosh, this yeah, is, facts. you know, like this is crazy. I save my what like, I'll save what I really was about to say after that for another time, but. Um, you know, cause you know, you know, it was a lot and it, and it, but it told me a lot about it when I seen, it, I was like, okay, like, yeah. you know, so it didn't make, but I didn't feel bad. Can I, I be bad. honest though? Can I yeah. be completely transparent? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. So, you know, we go to church and like, you know, it says like God gives grace to the people that don't know. Mm -hmm. All right. It's gonna be ignorant as hell. Oh my Hopefully gosh. God I saved me. my ignorant point. Cause I ain't wanna. I ain't gonna, I'm be real with you. All right, come on. Sometimes I'm like. Man, why did I come into this? Like, <laughs> I'm like, damn. Like, I wish like, I don't know no better. It's like, you know, you know what they said? I'm not going to be gonna, blind, bro. Yeah, I'm not going to Bro, it's, yo, it's comfortable. And yeah. like, you know, they say the devil shows up and he makes it easy for you. He makes yeah. it comfortable for you. And I'm going to be, I'm be honest. This like, is what bro, I've known my whole life. So like, mm -hmm. I'm comfortable and I like it. You know what I'm saying? Just being tr truthful. Yeah. And it's like, but now that I know better, I got to. You have to you know show up. So like yeah. now in my head, I'm like, Oh, yeah, right. Bro. And then well, you know, like you know, you know, before like when the, they used to say like the woke people, like woke people hate being woke because mm. it's like because you know so much now and it's like you now you miserable. Yeah, it's right. like dang, like you know, I ain't miserable. So, no, yeah. yeah, I mean, I get it. Yeah, well, yeah. I feel like uh, so it's funny because my daughter, um, the older one, you know, we've had several conversations because she's like. She understands, but she's the kid. Yeah. You know, she's 14 years old. She celebrated these things her whole life. And, you know, I've explained it in a, a, a multitude of ways that I'm not going to say here because, again, I'm not trying to sway or persuade yeah, anybody. But sure. my house, we have to all be on one accord. You get what I'm trying to say? So when I'm explaining my daughter and I'm giving her examples, whatever, she understands. She's like, nah, mommy, that makes sense. And then a couple of days later, she's like, "Ma, it's just crazy because like, <laughs> probably talking about like, Christmas." Yeah, yeah. She's like, "It's crazy because I'm just so I be picking her brain. I'm like, okay, tell me exactly what about it that you want, or whatever. Because I'm like, okay, we could do it on another day. Yeah. Like, I'm like, we could do it anytime. Then, like, oh, she was like, yeah, but last year I had a Christmas Eve sleepover. I said, cool, we could do an all pink sleepover. Like, what you want to do? She's mm -hmm. like, it's not the same. I'm like, <laughs> so, but it's. It, it shows me just like it's a lot of the world that's like that, you know, and it's not abnormal for anybody to feel like that. So I don't make her feel like, no, you can't feel like that. No, I tell her like, no, I understand, baby, because it's, it's a lot. It's not easy. And, you know, when you, when you walk in a certain walk and and obviously we're not perfect, like, you know, what I'm saying I'm, you know, I'm transparent. Here I am drinking uh, Mexican wine. It's and not wine, <laughs> bro. You fall for anything. You tell me you stand for something. Fall for anything. <laughs> You fall for anything because he it's, he was clearly joking. I, clearly, I know that you I ain't like, know that at first. What Go did I lie. first ask you when we I, I met you, Giovanni? I said that's tequila. It's tequila. I, I know it's tequila. You. I don't believe neither one of y'all. So it. I like the term Mexican <laughs> wine, and now you got me saying tequila, and I was trying to soften it for the people oh, boy, because you know I'm wine. talking about God, but I'm drinking, so I was like Mexican wine instead of saying tequila. You know, because it just sounds a little tiki, better. Because tequila, tiki, whatever, tiki, it sounds a little crazy. better than the harshness of tequila. You know mm. what I mean? The wine, you know, because wine and you, you know? know what's funny though. So before we get into our conversation for the day, you're a pest. Oh, <laughs> just a little bit. Remember you was like what was what was hard the date you it probably was I was looking for the word what? but that was it yeah. what you was like what's what's hard about dating you because I was we were talking earlier whatever Wait, what do you mean it's cool bro no you, but what is hard yeah I, yeah yeah for sure I, I was saying I'm a pest I was agreeing with you oh for sure oh you mean when we was in the bathroom and I was okay got you yeah yeah. Boy, it ain't all there bro I swear to God it's, it's missing a couple hey. screws but yeah so I was gonna say one thing I was gonna say was. You know what I do like about this, though? What? I don't got to spend no money for the <laughs> fake holidays. <laughs> you know that? <laughs> well, I did. So, Wait, boom. what? No, no, I, no, uh, uh, no, no, no. Because uh, uh, I have wait, to say. Uh, uh, Stop. 
Bro, stop. You don't argue from fool. You don't argue with fools because from a distance you can't tell who is who. I'm not. So we can't. With you. All I, no, I'm saying we can't fake finesse or try to. I'm not because if you, if you celebrate, you celebrating. We don't. We don't. So what you about to say? A needs winter shopping coach. Winter shopping money. <laughs> Where then she doesn't get on Christmas. She just needs cool. I'm winter shopping money. January, the you 5th. know, preferably before the winter starts. You know, like right going into the winter. You know, so I told her, you know, I will probably give her a couple dollars. You know, maybe December fifteenth ish. You know, not it's not Christmas. It's not you none of that. She just went. She needs winter shopping. You money. gonna give her a couple dollars? We gonna give her a couple dollars. <laughs> I'm about to say, yeah, yeah, handle your we, business. Dog. No, we no, we no, gonna no, give her no, a couple dollars. We gonna give her a couple dollars for some winter shopping money because you know, baby, it's winter. She needs some new clothes. You, you know. But nah, we don't, we don't, we don't do none of that.